I'll be damned. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. Mind I got nothing to say to you. Yeah, what is it? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Well, back to work. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. 
Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same. We're all still brief. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. What is it? I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes you in there, fine. Burke, it's Galaxy explain news. your business in Megaton. Their signal's been shit lately. Burke. I'm sorry. Come on, Sheriff. Mark. What are you hollering Stupid about? Radio. You know damn well what Come I'm talking on. about. The bomb. You're God trying to blow radio. it up. Have you lost your oh, goddamn you mind? Oh, no. Shark. I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Do you want something, or are you just Someone looking to get sure your ass beat? spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation, personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me.
Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. 